Hey guys, what's going on? You know me, like I say, I'll tell you what's going on. We're going down that road again. Today we're going down Porter Road with some picanha. Got the big egg fired up. We're going to do reverse sear on it. You know me, like I always say, it's going to be fun. It's going to be money. Stick around. All right, hey guys, today for fuel, we are using Big Green Egg Charcoal. It's a blend of oak and hickory. It's really, really good, and I'm not just using it on the Big Green Egg. I use it in my stick burners all the time. I use it on my Weber's. It's really good, and we're rolling with that today. It's going to be good. All right, hey guys, our method today of cooking is we're going to do indirect on the picanha. I got the ceramic plate in here from Big Green Egg. Wrapped it in foil, just like keeping it clean. And as you can see on this other side here, I got the cast iron, right? Cast iron grate. That's where we are going to sear the picanha. But first, we're going to put it up here in direct, 250 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Then I'm going to remove the upper grate, bring the egg up to 400 degrees, put the picanha on, sear it, get that reverse sear action that we're looking for today, okay? It's going to be fun. All right, so like I said, Picanha from Porter Road. They sent this to me to do a little review on. Really, really looks good. Today, we're going to season using nothing but my Texas Trinity, you know, a little salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Good stuff. Let's get this package open. Want to give a little shout out to my buddy, Uncle Steve. Let's get this opened up. All right, get that out. I'm gonna pat this dry a little bit. Got a good little fat cap on there. I am gonna leave that on there. I'm not taking that off at all. Just get that on there. Good looking cut, nice and fat. That's a good thick, good thick cut of picanha there. All right, seasoning, let's go. Again, salt, pepper, garlic, onion. A little bit on that fat cap. Gonna go a little bit on the end. Just like that. And then we'll go across the top and let it rain. Little pat down on that like that. And that's it. We're going to do a quick reverse here. Not even going to let it rust. We're not going to let it sit. We're going straight to the big green egg. Get this one glove off of here. Let's get this opened up a little bit. Got to burp that egg. So you can see we're running 250 right there. That's where we're going to stay for a while. Let's get this booger on here indirect. Just like that. Slow smoke it for about 15, 20 minutes max, and then we'll sear it. Done. All right, guys, this Connie has been sitting on here for about 30 40 minutes a little bit longer than anticipated but it's got that rowdy color we're looking for already you can see that looky looky gonna go ahead and put this in here let it rest for a little bit you can see we're already getting a hot flame over here basically take our grate out let that get hot come up the temp We're looking for 450 degrees. Shouldn't take much long to get there by looking at that flame. Get that cast iron hot. Get that picanha on there and let's get that reverse here we're looking for.
All right, guys, we've been running the vent midway to get that heat up to temperature where we want it. We're going to go ahead and open this up all the way, allow a little more oxygen to get in and get that temperature up. All right, guys, we actually got the egg up to 500 degrees, a little hotter than I was planning. Be perfectly fine for searing, right, what we want to do today. All right, let's get it on there. Got to burp the egg, a little bit of that heat out. You want to get that blast in your face. Let's get this on. That's what we're looking for right there, guys. Get that good sear on there. You want to get that good crust going. May look like it's on fire, and it might just be, but that's okay. That's how we're going to get that crust we want. Getting ready to flip that over. Let's go ahead. Just like so. There you go. That's what we want. Take it off now and check for temperature. See where we're at. Close the egg up. Now we're shooting for an internal temperature of 135. 130-ish is it's gonna carry over. I'm gonna throw it back on there, just a quick test. We're at 107 in the thickest part. The thicker side needs a little more heat, so we're gonna put it back on. I do have my heat gloves on, so we're gonna go ahead and drop it on there. Just like that. We're actually going to close it up too. All right, guys, it's about hip temp now. We're going to go ahead and take it off, get it in the box, and let it rest. Take a look. Here, grab that guy off of there. Color, amazing. Go ahead and get it wrapped up. Get on there, egg shut. We're gonna let that rest for about 15, 20 minutes. Let it come up to temp, and we'll slice into it. Get a taste, see what it's like. Cool, cool. All right, guys, this little pecan has been resting for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, should be ready to go. Let's take a look. Get out there. Oh yeah. Spark, got a lot of juice in there. Let's go ahead and get this sliced up. All right, got my trusty brisket knife here. We're just going to go ahead and slice into this. I'm going to cut it like a brisket first down the center. See where we're at. Get a good little peek in there. Got some good medium rareness going on. Looks like we can go ahead and go through it with the grain, kind of as we're going with it. There we go. That's tender, good looking color. Oh yeah. There we go. Looks killer. Looks killer. Good medium rare for sure. 
All right, guys, you can see here this thing turned out amazing. Really happy with this Picania from Porter Road. Again, I'll have links in the channel below, in the description below, on how to get yours, how to save some money by using my product code. Again, 100% happy with a big green egg. Can never go wrong with that guy. Don't be afraid to try one out. Bit of a learning curve in doing it, setting it up, adjusting the temperature, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, all right? Picania looking amazing. Again, smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and give it a taste, see what it's like, all right? Gonna go ahead and grab this little piece here. Again, not brisket, but it folds like a brisket. Good, medium, rare. Let's go ahead and give it a little taste here, all right? Hmm. <laughs> wow. Flavor, picking up that charcoal, the pecan wood chunks, and the chips, that hickory, again, from the oak. That Texas Trinity, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with that. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, it's there, it's not heavy. Guys, Picania, Porter Road, get you some. Don't be scared, all right? Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one.